Hey there guys, it's me Pat and welcome back again to another tutorial. For today's video, we are going to discuss about the rules of inference example number 4. So the problem states that if a square and a rectangle are shapes, then they are polygons with four sides. If a polygon has four sides, then it is called a quadrilateral. Prove that a square is a quadrilateral and a rectangle is a quadrilateral as well. So guys, again, iti-chop natin yung mga sentences dito at i-symbolize natin. So, dito, makikita natin na if-then statement na naman siya. So, pwede na sabihin yung kapag yung square ay isang shape at yung rectangle ay isang shape. So, it will be denoted as letter S at yung rectangle naman ay denoted as letter R. Okay? So, pwede na sabihin na S and R tapos implies i-group natin sila. Okay? Tapos, then, they are polygons with four sides. Sabihin natin, yung polygons with four sides ay denoted by T. Okay? Tapos, mag-move naman tayo sa next sentence. If and then statement na naman siya. Ayan, no? Sabi niya, if a polygon has four sides, which is etong P, then, it is called a quadrilateral. Pwede natin i-denote na yung quadrilateral ay letter Q. So, ayan, ayan siya. So, P implies Q. So, ang next naman is yung conclusion natin, denoted by this word na prove. Sabi niya, prove that a square is a quadrilateral. So, magiging square is a quadrilateral. And, a rectangle is a quadrilateral as well. So, ganyan yung pagkakasimbolize natin, okay? Kahit hindi siya if then since meron tayong iba't ibang mga variables dito. Okay? So, ready na tayong mag-prove. Again, ira-write natin yung mga premises natin. In this case, dalawang premises as given. Then, kailangan natin i-note sa sarili natin na ito yung kailangan natin improve. So, ang pwede natin gawin is i-observe muna itong dalawa. Anong pwede natin gawin dyan? So, ang pwede natin gawin dyan, if mapapansin nyo, pareha silang may implies, is etong hypothetical syllogism. Kung saan yung Q dito ay na-cancel. So, same as dito, yung P maka-cancel. So, ang magiging result ay S and R implies Q. Again, ginawa natin ay hypothetical syllogism for numbers 1 and 2. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito guys, Pwede natin, di ba kailangan natin yung S lang? Kaso may R dito. So, ang pwede natin gawin is S implies Q. Ayan. Paano natin nagawa yan? So, ang pwede natin gawin is simplify yan. At magiging S implies Q. Ito yung ginamit natin. So, simplify number 3. So, ang next naman natin is kailangan natin i- commutative property yung etong number 3. Bakit? Kasi nga doon sa simplification, di ba? Kasi di ba doon sa simplification, yung leftmost variable yung kailangan natin i-retain. So, R dapat yun. So, nag-commutative tayo sa number 3. So, sa number 6 naman, pwede natin magawa yung kanina na simplification. As lastly, E since ito, itong dalawang 4 at 6, kailangan ng end, magagawa natin yung conjunction. Lalagyan natin sila ng end. So, ito yung magiging result. Conjunction for number 4 at 6. So, kung makikita nyo, pareha sila. ba? So, ayan. Na-prove na natin. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye!